Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. I'm the owner and maker of Tumbling with Savannah. And welcome back to part two in our six part series of glitter application methods. In today's video, we're gonna go over the cheat method. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm starting off with a 10 ounce um, low wall tumbler from Craft Haven. I gave it two coats of a matte black spray paint, let that completely dry. And then right here, we're gonna go in with a matte um, white spray paint and just do little bursts of white. This is what we're going to apply our inks onto. Um, so you see, I'm just doing really quick, short bursts just to try to do like a little um, circle type thing. And that's all you have to do. Um, this was a really small cup, so I didn't have a whole lot to work with, but it wasn't too bad. So once that completely dried, I cut some makeup sponges in half just to make them go further. And then I'm going to dip um, those sponges in some alcohol inks. You guys can choose any color you like. And we're just going to pounce our makeup brushes up and down on that white spot. But this is what I do for the like the whole process of the cup. It is so easy to do. You cannot mess it up. It is just a perfect beginner style tumbler. Um, and it turns out looking so cute. And I, I, I love working with alcohol inks. But we're just going to keep on just pouncing our makeup brush around the pink. Um, when I'm working with my alcohol inks, I'll apply multiple layers and like build up my coverage. Um, so I'm just going to fast forward through a lot of this. Um, it's the same process for all of it. One thing I do like to do is I take this gold, um, and it's thicker. It's not like, it's an alcohol ink, but it's like thick and it's got these like grainy textures almost like to it. And I like to lay that down and it like gives the other colors of the ink just, I don't know. I just love the way it layers and looks on it. So now I'm going in with some blue, and that's what I really like to use the gold is over the blue. I think it just sets it off so perfectly. But we're just going to keep layering um, our alcohol inks in there. You'll see I'm doing like an array of colors on the blue because I have multiple colors of those. Um, but yeah, this is just what we're going to keep doing. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to let this play and get these inks on here. So once you get almost to the end and you're ready to move on to the next step, you're going to want your to let your inks dry for about 30 minutes. Um, alcohol inks dry super fast, but before I go in with a coat of epoxy, um, I just like to make sure it's really good and dry. Um, I don't seal my inks, but we're going to talk about the cheap method glitter today. Um, any micro fine um, glitter will work. My favorites to use are Bright, Fireflies, or that Magic Dust. Um, any micro fine glitter will work. Um, you just mix it into your epoxy, and it basically gives you like a full coverage glitter effect. So I'm going to use this Magic Dust from Glitter Craze, I believe. And this bottle is like a lifetime supply. I'm never going to run out because you don't need very much at all. 
So basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take uh, like a end of a popsicle stick and just get a little scoop out. Honestly, this scoop for 15 mLs was a little bit much, but I made it work. I really could have gone for about half of that. So when you put it in your epoxy, you wanna make sure that you mix it really, really well. Um, you want all of that sparkle incorporated into your epoxy for a smooth coat. We're just going to flip our turner on and apply our epoxy like normal. Once you get all of your epoxy on there, let it spin for about five minutes and then go in with your torch to pop any bubbles. And when we're when you're using your torch, you don't want to um, be very close to the cup at all. Just a quick three to five seconds over it. Now you can totally use this as is, but I want to go a little extra and add some of this other glitter that I have in there. This one is a iridescent um, chunky cut and I just think it gives it like the perfect little touch. So I'm just putting that all over my, um, where I like put my inks at. I just want to give that a little bit of sparkle and then I'm also going to go in with this other glitter as well and do that on the black. completely dry went in and did another coat then did my rim sanding and did the final coat of epoxy so this was only like three coats of epoxy in total and we were completely done after this and this was the final result I'm absolutely in love with this I think it is so cute and that cheat method glitter way was like the total way to go for this um, I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous I opted out of doing a decal um, I thought it was just fine on its own. If you wanted to do something or do something different, you totally can. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and we will see you next time. If you like this video, you can check out our last one here. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. We're all over the place, and I'd love to see you over there. Thanks so much for watching.